All right. Thanks for expressing interest in RudderStack. What we're going to do is a, a super high level background of RudderStack and then jump into the UI. Uh, in terms of RudderStack, really three kind of core beliefs all revolving around cost, compliance, and control. Cost, uh, we have a flat platform fee. We want to encourage companies to collect as many events as possible. Compliance, uh, we're privacy focused. And what I mean by that is that uh, we don't store any of your data as well as the fact that we have multiple hosting options. We have a, a team edition where it's RudderStack hosted, kind of your traditional SaaS offering, uh, as well as models uh, where you can host it on-prem in your VPC or even a shared VPC. Uh, and lastly, around control. Uh, our core belief is that your CDP should sit on top of your data warehouse. Uh, you should own the data, gives you the flexibility to uh, join internal data systems to your event stream data, and that gives you the ability to create more robust audiences uh, for the as activation aspect of it. Uh, what we'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and switch into the UI and just run through a quick example of how easy it is to set up a destination. Um, you'll see that we have pretty much all the major SDKs, Android, iOS, JavaScript, server-side SDKs. And uh, what we'll do is let's say that I want to connect my Android device to Snowflake. We use Snowflake internally. All you'll need to do for that process is you'll just select the source. You'll go ahead and add destination. We have about 45 destinations, adding one to two every, every month or so. We can also uh, prioritize destinations if there's something that is needed that we don't currently offer. So select Snowflake, give it a name. And then you just go ahead and plug in your credentials. I'm just gonna put in some characters. One thing I'll mention is that our warehouse dumps are much more real time than a lot of the providers out there. Uh, we do dumps every 15 or 30 minutes versus typically we see every six to 12 hours. Um, one other feature that we include is the transformation feature. You can think of this as basically being able to perform a JavaScript function on the event stream. Uh, lots of different use cases. Some of the more common ones are around masking data. So if you wanna mask PII data, um, you could do that, uh, or enriching data. So internally we have a clear bit enrichment where someone signs up for a demo request, transformation calls clear bit, additional information is added, and then we send it to Snowflake and Salesforce or CRM, uh, as well as summing or um, routing events to different destinations. Uh, some customers will use a transformation to sum five events into one event, and then send that to mix panel or amplitude just to save costs on the downstream destination. Um, and as soon as we click next, we have now officially set it up. So if you come here, you'll see that data is flowing from the Android device to Snowflake. Um, obviously this is super high level. I uh, would love to go more in depth. If you'd like to set up a call, we can discuss pricing options, support, um, and hit on a, a lot more features that I didn't have a chance to, to cover. Um, there's a live debugger in the UI. Um, we can touch on architecture, how we differ from a lot of the other vendors out there. Uh, thanks for joining. Bye.